see what's what. Wow! What was it? It's a big old rockling. Hey guys, welcome back to another rock pool and adventure. I'm here with Fraser. Hello. Who is going to help us find some interesting creatures in these rock pools. Anyway, welcome to Wembury. <laughs> Fabulous. So this magnificent little beast here is called a Cornish clingfish. Ah, here we go. Now, the clingfish has got modified fins underneath. So its fins under here have basically turned into a, like a sucker. So it clings on. So that... It's clinging. They just stick to things beautifully. Uh, so what they'll do is they'll lay eggs in an area and then they'll sucker themselves on the rock underneath and, yeah, look after them, basically. They're really cool little beasts. I'm going to pop them back now. Off you go, little clink. Whoops! So those ones are really important. You put them back exactly where you found them because they might be guarding some eggs. Now, also in here, there's another lovely little something. Pipefish, isn't there? Yes, indeedy. This is a worm pipefish. Now, these are very, very closely related to the seahorses. So they do the same sort of thing in that the female lays her eggs all along the male's belly. Uh, he looks after them with them attached to his belly all year round. Not all year round, but until they hatch. Uh, and then they all come off from him. Um, although these ones are slightly less... Um, uh, slightly less committed than the seahorses. Because if the male finds a female he prefers, uh, he'll simply absorb the eggs and have some new ones with her. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see from their nose how closely related to the seahorse it is. It's, it's got the same sort of snout going on Looks at the front there. It's ridiculously like one. Yeah, so I'll pop this one back in. Uh, these are pretty heavily armoured as well, so they feel really, really tough when you scoop them up. So you can pretty much just well, grab them like this, basically. <laughs> right, pop him back in. There you go, buddy. So, this one here... And this one over here are quite possibly a pair because those are their eggs. So they stick them onto the bottom of the rock and then they hang out in that area. It looks like there were another batch here that may have hatched already. So it could be that's their second brood of the year. Rockling. Sweet. There's two of them. He's a five barb five bearded rockling. He's gone around to that rock. Ah. It's the end of that one. Yeah. No, he's not. Ah he's eluded me. Sneaky. Oh, that one's right in the corner. Might be right getting this one. Yes! <laughs> so, this is a three bearded rockling. Five, five bearded rockling. It's got five little whiskers on his nose, uh, which are called barbels, and those are for tasting. So these ones scurry around between the rocks and they use those to find any little tasty bits and pieces to eat. So if I drop them in the water, you'll see them, but it'll also swim away very, very quickly. So just around his nose, there's those little whiskers. So this little fishy is tasting me right now. Lovely. All right then, buddy, off you go. Good catch, babe. Let's pop some rocks back. He's off. So that ended up being a very fishy episode of Fat Frog. On a related note, we found all of this fishing line. Uh, this is a threat to every single fish we found today, but also a threat to the coral nearby. You can see all of this, all this pink sea fan in here, all entangled in this giant mass of fishing line. So next time you're at the beach, try and pick some of this up and get rid of it. Keep it out of our oceans. <laughs>